for an incredible night. Oh, we're taking it up a notch. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Wes and Mike TZ coming all strong. All right, guys, welcome Straight back. What's going episode. on? Hope everybody's doing well. I decided to start a new segment of my channel, and it's going to be uh, Truck and Tip of the Week. So these tips, these tips are going to answer a lot of questions that I either see uh, from comments to my channel or on uh, various Facebook pages of truckers out there that you know have have either the same questions that I do when I first started, or even in my current situation. Or uh, questions that I feel like answering for you guys that I think is going to help you guys out there on the road. Obviously, I still consider myself a rookie trucker. I've only been trucking for just a little under two years. So I don't have all the answers to all the questions. But I can guarantee you if I don't, I'm going to uh, find the person that does and get it answered for you guys. Also, before I start the uh, tip of the week, I want to let you know you're more than welcome to post your questions on my Facebook page at Delgado Trucking. Um, I believe it's either just Delgado Trucking or Delgado Trucking 82. But uh, post your questions on my Facebook page and uh, based on the the level of um, content required to answer that question, I'll either be answering one or multiple questions for that week and get them answered for you guys. So let's talk about how to install a TV and a 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. I just recently started over here at uh, PNS Transportation and I got a Freightliner and it has no TV hookups. And of course, you're not allowed to drill in it either or you're going to ruin the warranty and uh, your company's not going to be too happy with you if you're drilling in their trucks. So I came up, I found a solution to solve that problem and we're going to get into it right now. If you look at if you look at the holes on the side, you know where you open your vents to uh, you know ventilate your truck. There, those holes, those top screw holes there, you can actually take those off. What I did is is I took two of the screws off, and then you can get a flat mounting plate, not not one that uh, uh, articulates. You want a flat wall plate that you can screw in right where those two screws are at. Also, you want to make sure that uh, it's wide enough to allow for those screws. So what I did is I got a, I just measured the, uh, the width of the screw holes from uh, one screw hole to the other. And I found that as long as you get a, a 10 inch mounting plate or greater, and it's got, usually they have like the sliding holes. So it, it varies, you have options, you know what I mean? So get, a, get at least a 10 inch mounting plate, screw that thing on and then you'll have those hooks that hook underneath. So you're gonna just mount that to the wall and then you're gonna take the hook part, mount that to your TV and just hang your TV up right on that mounting plate. You want the flat mounting plate guys because when you go to lift up your bed, your bed is not gonna lift up if, you, if, if your TV is protracted out from the wall too far. So I have no problem lifting up my bed where my TV's installed and also I just reused the same screws that are already in there to hold up the uh, the ventilation uh, casing there. So when I'm done with the mount, all I got to do is take that off and then re reuse those screws and rescrew it back into the wall plate there. And I didn't do any drill holes or anything like that. So guys, that's how I mounted my TV and my 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the tip of the week. Stay tuned for next week. I'm going to be doing this every Wednesdays uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. I'm just working on my trophy speech. My trophy speech. See, this for the fam, this for the home team. I'm just working on my trophy speech.